Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Stefan from Ragnarok Fishing. If you haven't had a chance yet, please uh, share and subscribe using the link below. Now today I went out and I actually met a really awesome person. His name is John Thomas from Yak Gadget. And as you guys have seen from uh, one of my previous videos about two months ago, I made this DIY trolling motor for my 2016 Vibe Seaghost 130. While I've absolutely loved um, having this motor mount on there, um, the things that and places that I can now reach, it's way opened everything up. The only cons that I've found so far though is having the motor mount right on the side like this, I don't have a lot of steering control. so. I'm having to use a lot of rudder, thankfully my body, uh, Ghost 130 has that motor mount or the, the rudder mount on it. Um, but what I'm finding is I don't have a lot of control, um, especially like when I'm going over to the, uh, to over to the left, just because with the motor being over here on the left side, it's automatically wanting to push the boat to the right. So I'm having to use left rudder. I'm having to keep it offset just a little bit and pushing over so i had the opportunity today to meet john thomas like i said with yak gadget i really wanted to get one of these rear setups done um so here you go here is the product um it this thing is made out of some serious bulletproof material like you know granted i wouldn't do it but if I were to stand behind this thing, pretty sure a bullet would not go through this. This is like some serious heavy duty material. Um, first off, um, I will say this, I didn't receive any, that this wasn't a gift. I paid for it. Um, John doesn't owe me anything. So this, this is one of those true and honest reviews. I, out of the ones that I've been seeing on the market, they, either the company kind of rubbed me wrong with the customer service or the hidden details of some of the companies out there. I won't mention any names. Uh, I wish them all the best, but I finally settled on this one. One, it has an incredibly clean look to it. Now they make this for the five C Ghost 130 and also they have some universal ones. Um, you guys really got to check out the site. He has got some great products coming out. Also, John told me that this week he's going to be finishing up the matching um, steering arm. So you can put it on there, hook it up to your rudder system, have full steering controls. Now, this is going to be a multi-part series because I'm going to be doing a major overhaul on this system. Um, I had my battery in the rear, which I'm going to be upgrading my battery as well. Right now I'm using a deep cycle battery and the thing weighs like 89 pounds. Absolutely ridiculous. Granted with the carrying capacity of 130, I can handle it. But if I, whenever I'm loading or unloading the kayak, it, it's an absolute nightmare because you have a 90 pound kayak, 90 pound battery plus all of the gear, equipment, and everything. Yeah, it's just not going to happen. And plus, on top of that, when I am pulling it down through the ground or, or into the water, I'm worried about the damage that it's causing underneath the hull. So um, one thing I am doing is I'm changing out my battery. That's going to be um, part of the system or part of the a, a video series. I'm going to be running a quick disconnect for the motor itself. Um, I'm gonna be installing that towards the rear here, running a cable all the way the full length and it's having my battery in that front hatch. So that's gonna be another video that's gonna be coming up here real soon. But tonight, um, obviously it's night, might not be there, but tonight I'm gonna to be going through and showing you step-by-step step the details of what it's gonna take to install this Yak Gadget motor mount. Here we go. 
All right, guys, so one of the things that I really loved about Yak Gadget's motor mount is the pure simplicity of the install, plus the finished look. Now, like I was mentioning before, one of the downsides that I have with my system, with this um, DIY system, you guys got to excuse the mess, uh, yeah, is that since I have the motor on one side, it, it offsets my, it really tilts my kayak. So I've made a tray on the other side so that I can keep my tackle and all that to try to offset it. Even with that, with the motor weighing just over 17 pounds, I've had to add another five, actual five pound weight onto the other side to make sure that I'm completely level in the water and I don't have those stability issues. But transferring that motor to this rear removing that bar system i'm not going to have that issue anymore and my camera is like tilting over but so jumping right into it here first thing we got to do is remove all of our mounts and we're actually going to speed that up because this taking all this string off is going to take a while All right, guys, so we got those strings off. We remove the polar or the place, the placement string so you can deploy it and retract it. We pulled the little cotter pin right out at the bottom. So, bye bye, rudder. Hello, Yak Gadget motor mount. Now, the only thing I've done to install this was I ran this one bolt. Attached this one nut now one thing I did say that I wanted to do was I want to change this to a nylock Just to give me that extra security that it's not gonna wiggle or Anything like that. It's, it's gonna be there for a long time the plate comes out Quite a bit more and I'll show you why that does that but guys it's, it's it's rock solid. This thing is not going anywhere. Plus, it's it's a finished look. It looks great. So I've run that one bolt through here. And guys, that's that's the install. Remove remove your lines. Re remove untie untie knot. Run one bolt. Attach nut. It's done. I mean, how, how great of an install is that? And it looks great. I don't have to paint it. Um, it doesn't have a bare metal look. Um, wow. All right, so I'm going to put the camera down here. And to finish up the install, literally we're going to take our motor out. Our, our motor, screw it down, and, and your trolling motor is installed. I mean, that's it. Has a really good look to it. Now, something that I'm going to be doing with the Minn Kota 30 Enduras, they have a clip right here. And I knocked out the pin, took that clip out. All right, guys, we're back. My wife had a little mishap coming out into the garage, fell down the stairs. She's okay. Had a good laugh, moved on. So, um, as I was saying, it's a great product. The install's done. That's it. Um, rock solid product very quality product at an affordable price when you're looking at 119 dollars plus shipping if you're in the middle tennessee area he's getting into suppliers now um, super awesome guy to deal with this part of the install is done i'm super happy with it now what i did do was i removed that clip so i have the free range 
honestly, if I was in a reverse mode, I don't think I would have an issue with the motor coming up. Um, we glide through the water so easy as it is, it's not going to be an issue. So, from here, I have two options. I can either go with the Minn Kota, and there's a couple of off brands also, but they have an extendable tiller arm, which is an extension from here to here. Because if I'm sitting all the way up here, it's just not going to happen. So, there's a couple of options. You can do that extension tiller arm to go from there to up here. I believe it's in the four foot range, um, it's uh, adjustable. You have a wireless option, you have a wired option. What I'm going to be doing with my build is uh, removing this head unit, um, relocating that up here to the front. I'm just going to be using the, the controls inside of it. I'm going to be mounting that up front so I can control my speed that way. The other part that I'm going to do to make this a super clean build is I'm going to be removing some of this height on here, running my cables down through here so it's a nice clean look. And with that, like I said, I'm going to run my uh, battery unit up in the front of the kayak in the front hatch. I picked up some trolling motor quick disconnects. I'm going to flush mount this one into the side of the wall, run my cable up front have this on the trolling motor. It'll be a really nice look. So we have lots more videos coming, a lot more content. We've added the GoPro mount now. Um, can't wait to get that out on the water and get some footage, get some adventures on some film. It's going to be great, guys. So if you've liked this video, please like it. Please share it. It helps our channel out a lot. We're just starting out, and uh, we want to share our adventures with you. promise I'll get the other half, my wife, uh, we'll, we'll get out, her out on the water when it warms up and uh, we'll be catching those fish. Also, please make sure to, uh, to subscribe so you're notified what's going on with the rest of this build. We've got a lot coming up with it. Um, getting ready for that spring. We appreciate your time. I'm going to put Yak Gadget's website in the description below and we'll catch you all on the water. Tight lines, guys.